Hello everybody, that is here. Very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today we'll have an interesting video. I tested Alpha Cool Apex fan and I actually put a little bit extra effort into it because I always want to look for good working fans for water cooling application which has a nice noise profile. I'm kind of not sensitive but um, I like not noisy fans which is uh, not annoying for the my personal ear so when alpha cool around october november time frame they say they will produce new fans that will have exceptionally low noise i got really interested as for examples i got one single fan in december and uh, not this one it was uh, one of those and uh, i brought it up and it actually was very nice noise profile for me so I said well if it works well and maybe that's something that I will switch from a gentle typhoons because I using those fans for more than 10 years just switching this model and that model I had a short stunt with Nocture fans but it didn't work out for me so I switched back so I thought maybe there's opportunity to have something else and then uh, we have a little bit of uh, drama as always in water cooling seems water cooling very dramatic area always something happened which is a little bit crazy so Eager Labs somehow published absolutely bullshit report that says that this fan is twice as good as Nocture or something like that I didn't even read so I don't want to misspell it but that what I gathered from internet and YouTube videos so it was additional video from Debauer who double tested this fan and shows that no it's not twice as good as uh, let's say Nocture fans it's in fact it's a little bit worse than Nocture fan so it steers a lot of drama all over but finally I got my shipment I got enough fans so I can test it and uh, I wanted to test it because as I said for me personally I like the sound of it so I thought maybe it actually will be sound more pleasant in my personal rig which has a triple radiator dual radiator behind it uh, has a one fan on front so it's a six fans they're a little bit noisy i always tone them down for the youtube videos but uh, overall it's it's a little bit noisy and also rigged just next to my head so it's pretty close so it's important that the uh, system is not noisy and secondly not annoyingly for my personal ears so and i thought okay maybe i'll give it a shot so when i got the three models I, I tested it out. Before we go for the test results and give you a little bit of background uh, what I did I just would like to give you a quick rundown on what those fans uh, are about. So essentially it's a fan that has a semi-metal type of casing so you can see that um, front panel and back panel is actually made out of metal which give a hefty weight for it it's actually pretty, pretty pretty heavy much heavier than normal fan it has a, some plastic parts that jam bet, bet, between those two plates you can't disassemble them i double check at cs at alpha cool booth so i said is it possible to like disassemble it to look what's inside they said no they they press together and and that's it so if you will open it up you actually break plastic so you ruin the fan so you can do it but it's not disassembled it's a hard pressed and that's it so it's one piece now so we have a two speeds 2000 rpm and 3000 rpm to choose from only one size for now 120 140 potentially coming in the future for now we have no led option which also coming and i actually have even a video of it from cis we have a four colors so we have a black like this it's, it's just matte black very similar to radiator color blends together very nicely that's personally my choice i just don't like flash stuff at this uh, stage of my life there is also chrome version which you see it's uh, very shiny basically mirror finish they have a gold polish gold so for those who want to build, uh, use gold fittings and everything, that will be very nice. They also have a white. So white, another color which is quite popular, probably second more popular color after the black. So yeah, we have a cover. So essentially we can match fans to the fitting you use, such as black or 
chrome silver fittings or, or gold so it's pretty nice also they have a number of accessories coming with this so we have extension cables that because you can see that it has a very short cable one which is actually cut the things that connect it to the power it's a little bit stuck here so so a very short cable that connected to the power cable PWM of course and you have a pass through so you can daisy chain those fans if you use them on a radiator which is pretty nice feature you have a set of screws which will fit any radiator possible M3 M4 and 632 in case you would like to mount fan to the panel you have four M4 nuts that you can actually bolt it to the case itself if you want and they even give you a little micro fiber clothes so when you put your greasy fingers over such model as the chrome one you can wipe it out and make it shiny so a nice package price wise it's uh, about of the nocture levels essentially expectations that it has to offer a similar performance otherwise make no, no sense now how I want to test it. Uh, one thing I discovered in my last test when I had, a, as I mentioned already, that I had my short st stunt with uh, Noctua. I had a video about it and I just would like to show you quickly. So results I got, I tested it against AP60 models that we had. Essentially in my test, open air test, I got better results on Noctua than on GT. And I was really excited. So it was like, basically one decibel lower noise than it was on a, on a gentle typhoon. I said, okay, so listen, it's a little bit better, not big difference, but I'll go for it. And I mount into my personal rig. Apparently the noise profile a little bit changed when you put it on radiators and it was a little bit annoying. So I ran it for maybe like a month and, um, and it bothered me personally. So after going back and forth, I tried to put some gaskets and uh, do some modifications, uh, nothing helped. So I ripped them off, put gentle iPhones back, which sounded better for me and sold my Nocturne. For that reason, they're not participating in this test, but we have some results from previous numbers. So basically Nocturne was one decibel better than gentle typhoon. Great, let's put it a mental note about it. Now, so in order to test those fans on my rig, I had to do a little bit of modification. You remember I had a radiator in um, like a little tray behind, bolted here, hidden because I, I didn't need it to do it. So I had to modify my test bench a little bit. I put a couple brackets, bolted it to the motherboard tray so and I basically hang my radiator on one side on three screws so it, it's not super sturdy but it's perfectly enough for my uh, testing and also it's uh, good for in order to put my equipment test equipment uh, in certain position and similar to other model and so I get a little bit of nose profile and things like this. First I measure it at maximum speed what kind of RPM each fan produce. This is 2000 RPM like plus minus but the model that I had Gentle Typhoon was 2150 so I have naturally and it's not even PWM version so I had to use this controller which I actually matched as close as I could under vaulted fans so they will be similar to those three. It's not like an love environment, but just for myself, because uh, like for myself, I'm kind of can be a little bit more anal. <laughs> so, so I try to match it as close as possible. And I mounted a gentle typhoon back and run actual, the standard test results that we already did uh, multiple times when we checked different models of CPU blocks. And because I, why I did it? Because um, I use um, slower gentle typhoons before I use 1500 RPM, now I put like 2000 RPM. So I assume that maybe it will be a little bit differentiation in terms of uh, uh, how well system is cooling with the faster fans. Uh, on practice, uh, I didn't gain as much as I hoped for. So I think that it's a triple radiator on one CPU so overkill that uh, 
adding additional fast offense barely yielded uh, like um, half a degree difference so essentially I had 67 degree and change and uh, putting fast offense I still have 67 <laughs> degrees on change so so it wasn't much difference but nevertheless I wanted to be sure also I put some markers on um, on my desk and where the, my tool is located so I try to kind of to make sure that uh, when I switch the, between fans I also have like a similar position for everything so my recording of the noise levels will be similar so what we get out of it no miracles so gentle typhoon produce one degree better cooling around three times and average is 67.3 for the apex i got a 68.6 so i lost one degree in performance that's one thing also it only wasn't only reflected in uh, CPU temperatures, but also was reflected on, on a liquid temperature. So it also was about one degree hotter liquid, which means the Gentle Typhoon blade design produces probably better and higher uh, static pressure on a radiator, and it was able to push high amount of air through the fins and get a little bit better performance. That's the first point. Second, in terms of just the result, like Cinebench basically produced identical results. I didn't gain anything. Basically, I had the same numbers. Room temperature this time around was 20 degrees. Previous test, we had like 21. When I was measuring this decibel levels on set of three fans, essentially, Gentle Typhoons was one decibel lower than Apex. Now, so if we will retrieve memory recall from Nocture test, Nocture would be quite as the fan, then we have a gentle typhoon, uh, one, one decibel lower and Apex another decibel lower. Looking back to uh, the Bauer video, I think that was similar what he found, so which is good. So essentially his finding, my finding match, which is good result. So I'm glad to hear that. So now in terms of the noise, I still believe that noise profile for Apex is kind of uh, nicer for my ears. But I would like to bring one idea, I don't know if it makes sense or not, but um, I'm kind of uh, became, uh, become an old guy and uh, I don't know, my you who is watching me right now, you could be the same like 50 years old or maybe you're 20 years old and our ears is different so if you run hearing tests for the frequencies then me personally I capped on 10,000 Hertz and can hear it right so for my ears and whatever I can hear those fans sounds like better deal than general typhoons on performance side a little bit losing but noise is important so for me personally I would like to give it a shot, a mount on my personal rig. I'll run it for a month. If I like it, I like it. If not, I always can switch back to Gentle Typhoon. So, so for me, the test yielded uh, potential good results. Maybe I found something that I can use, uh, I, I like. Now, I would like to finish this video. I give you a, a little bit of sampling, noise sampling uh, from my old recording for Nocture and for my um, new recording that I did now. Maybe it's different position, different distance from microphone, but at least it gives you some idea. So thank you for watching this video and um, I'll see you in the next one.